Okay, quick video on how I screwed up and how I fixed it. So there is this big thick aluminum bracket here that attaches the top of the wing strut to the rear uh, wing spar. And it's held on, as you can see up in there, with a whole bunch of A5 rivets, but then there are, or there is one bolt that goes in there um, and as soon as I put this rear skin on and riveted the whole thing on when I was doing the wings, I remembered that I forgot to put that bolt in. Um, I think I forgot because I ended up, uh, putting a rivet in that hole. So I kind of just made a note for myself and when I got around to it, um, I was gonna fix it. And so my solution was to put a inspection panel on each side and purchased two little inspection panels from, uh, I think it was mykitairplane.com. So they come with some itty bitty solid rivets. I'm probably just gonna use uh, some A3 pop rivets. Um, just because I don't have a hand squeezer to do those. I might might try and borrow one from a local EAA chapter, but uh, if not, this will work just fine. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to fish this in there. Cause I don't feel like making that hole slotted. So as you can see, that's not gonna fit, but this rear one, I can fish in from the the trailing edge and I'll get that all the way in there. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit harder. There is that access hole, but I gotta go through this rib here. Um, I think I can do it. I can fit my arm through there and I should be able to at least toss it through the hole here and then I can reach up with, I don't know, something. I there's a little bit of steel in there, so I'll get something, I'll get a magnet and uh, or I might try and fish a string and then just tie it to a string and pull it through. We'll see what I end up doing, but uh, so at least to get the rivet holes there, I just held this up backwards. Um, I marked two of the holes, drilled those, and then Clecoed this up there and drilled out the rest of those holes. So um, I used a hole saw to drill the holes and then to deburr them. I got one of these little guys with a nice uh, kind of V-shaped cutting groove on there um, and cleaned it up with some maroon scotch Bright. And that's how I fixed it. In order to drill out those rivets, um, I was hoping to be able to use this right angle drill, but I didn't, uh, I didn't have a bit long enough on there. Fortunately, this right angle adapter uh, fit through that hole and I just cut the end off uh, some of my drill bits. So I drilled out the hole to a uh, number 20 to get rid of the rivet and then I went up to a 3 16 uh, drill a hole out and I ended up nicking one of the other you can see there's two holes up there. I ended up nicking one of the other rivets um, just because I couldn't see where I was drilling and had it on the wrong rivet head. Um, so I ended up just drilling that whole rivet out. Uh, and I'll put a bolt in that one just because I can't get a rivet gun up in there to put a rivet back in. So that's how I screwed up and that's how I fixed it. Not the greatest thing in the world, but it'll work. Um, and I mean, more inspection panels are all right. It'll be good to check in down here. And actually that little panel there will help me uh, put a, um, some sort of grommet or something for all of the wiring that I gotta run down the trailing edge of the wing. So won't be too bad. And that's all I got for now.